I'm Justin DePago, and I've been challenged by my friends over at my Fix It Up Life to take a hike and find whatever I can find out on that hike and then make a serving tray out of it. So I took a hike and what I found uh, was this. This uh, piece of oak crashed off of a tree and smashed a fence and then somebody chainsawed it off so that it was out of the way but then they left it behind. It's all rough on this end, it's all flat. On this end there's some burl over here. And I also found these big nails or small spikes. This is gonna be my raw materials for a serving tray. You can find my Fix It Up Life down in the description uh, where you can find links to all my social media and of course if you enjoy this like it and subscribe to me oh uh, I'm I'm in my new shop if you've been following along you know I haven't had a shop this is my new shop it's completely disorganized and 90% of my tools and materials are in storage still being delivered tomorrow let's see if I can get through this with a sawzall instead of my chainsaw Okay, this is a pruning blade, basically a motorized buck saw, but it's still, it's still not what I need to do this, but it's what I'm gonna use. And now I'm looking at the stump because every piece of wood wants you to cut it in a certain place. This natural crease right here, I'm gonna utilize that. And then what I'll end up with, I'm gonna try and cheat and get more than just the burl. Pretty huge spider just came running out of a crack in this thing. So I'm gonna be careful as I manipulate it now. This I will use, this I will use for something else. Nothing, nothing gets wasted. This, this will be, this will be our serving tray, believe it or not. Okay. These gloves have red between the fingers and I keep thinking I cut myself pretty badly. But I didn't, this will be the bottom. This was the inside of the log and I'm not too concerned with how this looks, but I'm gonna clean it up. Just give it a going over with, uh, with the grinder to sort of carve it down and clean it up. And then the other side, this will be the serving side and I'm gonna give that a much nicer cleanup. You can get like a power carver wheel for an angle grinder. They're really expensive but this is a 40 grit grinding wheel this was seven or eight bucks it's obviously not as fast as using a power carver but you, you can get it done on this side though i want this to be nice and smooth so i'm going to start with the 40 grit just to knock it down and then i'm going to get smoother and smoother moving on to the palm sander craftsman sent me this but they aren't sponsoring me but I dig this sander because, mostly because of this dust collector. It has a filter, it has a filter, and it's plastic. Most of the time, most of the time on these palm sanders, if there's a dust collector on it, it's soft. It's a bag or something like that. And though, so they collapse and the dust gets trapped in them. This is nice because it's rigid and it collects the dust really well and you can dump it really well. <laughs> Sanding is so boring. I went all the way to 220 and this this is like this is like glass now. This is nice. Alright, let's make it stand up. Okay, I spent some effort to shim up and level this work surface. And now I'm gonna use these spikes as feet. Okay, so it turns out they're not long enough, but in my new shop, there's all of this old equipment. So what I'm gonna use are these auger bits. They're actually a much cooler option. The problem is I tried to chuck one of these into a drill and I couldn't. So I'm going to use an auger. This is dead even. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, it's camera ready. To make it actual food service ready, to make it Thanksgiving ready, the whole thing gets uh, deeply coated in uh, food safe epoxy to keep the live edge on there. Otherwise, all this bark is just gonna come off. So, this is my, this was my DIY dare to make a serving tray out of, uh, out of upcycled materials, something I found on a hike, and I think I nailed it. If you like this project, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel and you'll see more things like this. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.